ecosystem, yet it dominates all of life on Earth. It sounds like, like a pizza chef sliding the pizza down the mythical sitcom pizza place corridor thing that looks cool like, hey, your pizza pie's ready, and spits it out. Like, here's your pizza. It sounds like, here's your comet. Here's your sun baby. But all mixed together and then made into something new. Yeah. Here's your gas giant. Here's your angel of light. Here's your magic sword. Here's your moment of peace. Wait, we need way more than a moment. Okay, let's get back to Phil and the pulp fiction of solar physics. What do you got for me? Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head jump. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor new science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Well, this is space. There's space all over the place. Hell yeah! We're flying now! And this is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... <laughs> Support, slates, journalism. No. I'm just reading the thingy. I mean, I, I steal from them all the time. Especially Phil, man. I help science educate oh, Phil all the time. Phil. Yeah, oh, exactly. It. See, yeah, that's how we met. We met on a Phil Plate is Awesome forum. And I was writing, like, Phil is awesome. And she was typing, Phil is awesome. Oh, no. Yeah, and then you joined the Phil Plate is Awesome club, right? Yeah, super awesome. Sweet. The super awesome, excellent, fantastic club. <gasps> We're both in that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, when the sun went medieval on our planet, ooh, I think Phil played scores with the Pulp Fiction reference right there. This article was posted this freaking morning. Oh, it's like... Almost just now. <laughs> Where it slates Bad Astronomy by the Bad Astronomer, Phil Play. It's me and E-Gas. That's Sage Backwards. Code. Oh, I didn't get it. I get uh, it now. Weird. Kismet. Fate. I love to talk about the sun. And Phil doesn't love to talk about the sun as much. He likes to talk about, oh, I don't know, climate change, vaccines, and vaccine deniers, and anti-climate changers. Anyway, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, the sun. In the year 774 and 993, all right. the Earth was attacked from space by Martian women. Right now, we are being science communicated to through the written word by Phil Blake. He's talking about the sun. I think he was saying the sun could go medieval on your ass. It already did. Twice. Whoa. Today, this week, this year, last decade, or you mean just all time? No, I mean, well, he says in 774 and what, 993? Yeah, Earth was attacked from space by Martian women. Wait. Okay, wait. Wait. It was not by Martian women. By natural events. And I know right now you're saying climate change. That's usually the first thing Phil says. But no, we got a breakthrough here in science communicating. Somebody else has noticed, maybe, possibly, we haven't read the article, the sun's going crazy and it has been going crazy for a while. And you know what? A lot of people think they can predict the future and they cannot. So we don't know what's happening. We're just checking it out, going, this is possible. And then you figure out the worst case scenario and the best case scenario. And you hope and pray for the best case scenario and you prepare for the worst case scenario. One thing I do kind of point out every once in a while is that it's like Congress has no idea how outer space works. Congress has no idea how the sun works. Congress has no idea how GPS satellites, electricity, and shit works. and Or solar flares, coronal mass ejections, plasma, electricity, magnetic fields. And so they could have super safe proofed our entire grid in the United States for $50 billion like five years ago. And they're like, no thanks. We don't want to waste that $50 billion on solidifying and Faraday caging the entire grid that all of America power systems rely upon. And I, I don't know what the hell I was talking about or I'm talking about now or Phil's talking about or what you may talk about in the near future. But that shit is fucked up, man. It's like Pulp Fiction, you know? Well, wait. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, he is saying that it put more carbon in the atmosphere. Chlorine, beryllium, and carbon in the atmosphere all over the whole planet. But it's really weird because when the chemtrail people test for what they think the chemtrails are, like in water and soil samples, these are the elements that they find. So they think that it's from the chemtrails, but... They're saying it can be from the sun. The sun is chemtrailing us? That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, but there's a lot of noise out there these days. What to believe? What can we verify? That this stuff is in our atmosphere and in our soil in more abundance than usual? Is that shit going to screw up my carbon data that I bought a couple weeks ago? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably. Is. I've only got like five days left before I can return it for its full money. I need to know now. Wait. What are you talking about? We're not talking about Venus. That was the last one. Okay, wait. Whatever it was, it subtly altered the chemistry of our planet's atmosphere, creating trace amounts of radioactive elements like chlorine-36, beryllium-10, and carbon-14. Yeah, so those are the things you're talking about. Like, sun did some shit. Oh, like the matter it shoots at. Uh, the matter it shoots at. The matter it shoots at. I would say like, hey, if the sun is a stellar forge taking in all these materials from comets, asteroids, planets, wait, what? Ex-planets, I'm sorry. Then, when it does the CMEs, it's basically spitting that stuff out. Those provide the clue to what the event was. Those isotopes are created when the high energy protons slam into our air. Hey, just the other day, protons were slamming into our air. I think they were highly charged particles. The best kind. That means the source must have been from space. Wait, let me correct Phil. Remember, he's a scientist first, science communicator second, and a writer third. Well, you meant to say Phil was outer space. Because we're on Earth, 
which is inner space. So I wanted to differentiate that it came from outer space. It didn't just come from like space. Because we're in space right now. We're sitting in some space. But, yeah. Inner space. We're in an apartment. If you're in outer space, you're not in anything. Right. But you're still in space. But it's space in an apartment. I know. I know you know. Wait. No, I don't. Well, this is space. I mean, there's space all over the place. Yeah, but if you tell kids that, that they're going to be confused. They, they agree. See, I'm stuttering at your concept. Whatever. <laughs> if you tell kids that this is space too, then it just don't make no sense. You know? I mean, it does, but it's weird. We were talking about the sun. Man, it's the hardest fucking sun video ever. Where's the sun from? Outer space. I like the way you negotiate. Please, allow me to light your fire. Know about the sun, but the sun is a woman too. How do you feel about that? I like your words. I just like to read between the lines. Okay, I've said it. I've said enough. Party dance time. Little is known about this star at the center of our solar system, yet it dominates all of life on Earth. It sounds like, like a pizza chef sliding the pizza down the mythical sitcom pizza place corridor thing that looks cool like, hey, your pizza pie's red, and spits it out like, here's your pizza. It sounds like, here's your comet, here's your sun baby. But all mixed together and then made into something new. Yeah, here's your gas giant, here's your angel of light, here's your magic sword. Here's your moment of peace. Wait, we need way more than a moment. Okay, let's get back to Phil and the pulp fiction of solar physics. What do you got for me? Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's your head joke. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor news science upon you. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Well, this is space. There's space all over the place. Hell yeah! We're flying now! This is a Thor news presentation. Thor news presents... <laughs> Support Slate's journalism. No. I'm just reading the thingy. I mean, I, I steal from them all the time.